You're watching Global Daily Mirror News Alert. The Department of Education will disburse cash allowance of 5,000 pesos to all teachers during the opening of classes on August 22. He said it will augment and give the teachers assistance for their return to school. Meanwhile, the Office of the Vice President said it will expand the distribution of the Pagbabago bags containing school supplies and hygiene kits to more areas. Only 19% of learners are fully vaccinated against COVID-19, the Department of Education said Friday, three days before the start of school year 2022-2023. Spokesperson Michael Koa at a press briefing said low figure is largely due to the government's vaccination program against COVID-19 being non-mandatory. On the other hand, vaccination rate among teaching and non-teaching personnel is at 92%, Koa said. The DepEd earlier said it will conduct mobile vaccination in schools to increase vaccination rate among children. The Senate will impose a lockdown on Monday to disinfect the building after seven senators have tested positive for COVID-19, Senate President Juan Miguel Zubiri said on Friday. The Senate session will resume on Tuesday, August 23. The decision was made after Senate Majority Floor Leader Joel Villanueva, Senators J.V. Hercito, Nancy Binay, Grace Poe, Cynthia Villar, Ivy Marcos, and Alan Peter Cayetano contracted the disease. The low-pressure area is no longer directly affecting Luzon. According to Pag-asa, the LPA was last located at 1,325 kilometers east of central Luzon. It is enhancing the effects of the southwest monsoon. Orcases, Pangasinan, Zambales, and Bataan will have cloudy skies with scattered rain showers and thunderstorms. Metro Manila and the rest of the country will have partly cloudy to cloudy skies with isolated rains or thunderstorms in the afternoon or evening. Ai Seguera was revealed to be the director of the Drag Race Philippines Untucked. On Facebook, his wife Lisa Dino revealed it through a post accompanied by photos of him behind the camera. It also turns out that the couple is a big fan of the original RuPaul's Drag Race. Lisa congratulated Ai on his directorial debut and said that she was proud of him. Meanwhile, Suga of BTS produced a new ringtone. BTS member Suga, also known as Yoongi, has produced a remix of Samsung's classic Over the Horizon ringtone for the second time around. This time, unlike his mellow 2021 remix, Yoongi's new Over the Horizon has a retro groovy beat that will make you dance to it, and he even proves how danceable the ringtone is in the music video. That's the latest for this hour. Subscribe to our YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram and visit www.globaldailymirror.com. This has been Ice Martinez. Good day.